Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn two things. First is how to detect scroll position in React so we can determine whether or not user has scrolled the page and based on that update the styles of the navigation bar. And this would be the end result. So I have some large text on the page and this is the nav bar. We don't have any background or the shadow but as soon as Almost immediately when I start scrolling, we have a border. We also uh, blur a background a bit, so it keeps updating as we uh, go through. And let's code this out. I will be showing two ways of do this. Uh, the outcome would be same. It's just code to get there would be different. And first one is using this library called Framer Motion. I use it usually for different kinds of animations. Uh, you can get done a lot of uh, cool things using their functions instead of having to write a lot of CSS. So it handles a lot of that. And uh, first we need to install that animation and then we're gonna use use scroll hook that is basically going to return, it returns scroll Y position and scroll X position because we're interested in the horizontal way. We're gonna take the Y position and then save that in a state. Uh, so yeah, let's install this. I'm gonna copy this going to the code. So this is the code that I have for uh, navigation bar. Uh, there's like few divs that I have here. And as for the class names, I use Tailwind. So all of these classes basically come with the styling, but this would also work if you are just writing a CSS, but still you would need to change class name variables too apply different kinds of styling. Uh, so yeah, let's open a terminal. Let's install the library that I mentioned that's using npm install framer motion. For my React app, I created using Vit, but if you are using framework like Next.js, this would also work. You just have to make sure that you define your uh, component as a client. So use, use client keywords, that's for Next.js. Uh, all right, so once the module is installed let's import this uh, use scroll hook function and then just like it's shown here we can get the value and we can also use this use motion value event which basically triggers when this value gets updated so we have that and we also need to import the function Cool. Now we can go ahead to our page. I'm gonna open a console. I'm gonna reload the page. So if I scroll here, we see page scroll. Let me... make this smaller so you guys can see. Okay, so we get the page scroll and we get the number. So we know that as long as... So in the beginning, if we go back, now we hit zero. So this is page is not scrolled at all. And as uh, long as it goes above zero, then it means it is scrolled. So given that information, we can create a new state that's gonna stroll, store whether or not uh, the page has been scrolled. So let's do import use state hook from React and creating a new state. I'm gonna call it scroll, then we have set scrolled. By default, it's going to be false. And let's check here if latest, which is the value of the Y position, if it's more than zero. And if set scroll doesn't equal to true, because if we already have set it to true, then we don't wanna keep updating the state. Scrolled, we're gonna set that to true. Else, if we go back to zero, so user scroll, scrolls back up, then we want to set back to false again. So if latest equals to zero, false, okay. But this wouldn't change any styling, this would just update the state, but we can use state now to determine the styling. And the div that I want to update styling on is um, this one. So I have few classes here. Some of them I want to leave for both cases. For example, position absolute. I want it always to be 
it's set to absolute. So what I'm going to do because of that is first define default classes, which would be true in both um, scenarios. So this one, this one and transition all. And then we have another value now for classes was going to update based on the state. So if we have scrolled default classes, And for just an example, we can add background as black here and background as red 500 uh, just for testing. And I'm going to replace this. So we have as a class name, like a dynamic value. Oh, I'm not checking set scroll because it's always true. I'm checking if the scrolled value exists. Okay, so if we scroll now and come back, we get this red. And if we scroll down, um, we get black. All right, let's update this colors to actual classes that I want to add. And if you want to start using the Tailwind classes, I have tons of tutorials of projects where I use Tailwind. You can check them out. And as for the frame or motion animation, I did this really cool tutorial for Airbnb where the search bar kind of changes and there's a lot of animations going on, which I included as part of the code in the tutorial. So make sure to check that out. And uh, so here by on the scrolled, what I'm doing is I'm setting border at the bottom and border color black opacity 10 uh, background would be white but also opacity 75 because we want to have that a um, little bit show the colors coming from the background as for the backdrop some blur and blur large as for the default we want to make the border transparent and not show up at all so if i go back now and do this, I have this effect. All right, that's great. We can now go ahead and remove the console log as we don't need that anymore. Now, if you did not want to use a third party library, what we could also do is recreate this hook that's provided by frame or motion. And for that, I'll in the source folder, I'll create a new folder for the hooks. And inside here, I'm gonna create a new file I will also name this use scroll value dot js and and basically what this function is going to do is going to return the value of the y position kind of like they're doing it here except this one um, takes in also arguments because we they provide also other different kinds of values but we only care about the my position. Um, so, okay, let's create a state and we're going to need the use effect because we're going to add a listener to our window object. And then state is for storing uh, that value uh, that I just mentioned and returning it. So use state and use effect from react. Let's go back, create scroll Y. I'm going to just name this. They did equals use state. By default, this is zero because when the page mounts, it's not scrolled at all. Then we call the use effect. So use effect takes in a function and as a dependency, we pass an array. That means it has no dependencies. Then we uh, create a function that we're going to call inside the use effect. Let's name it update y position. Uh, what this is going to do is update our state. And we set this to window. Dot, so if we wanted to access the position from the window object, it would be page y offset. This is legacy alias of. So that is this deprecated so we can actually just use the scroll y that's perfect and we do need to add a event li listener which 
gets triggered on the scroll and we then call the function. So this one basically passes the value and we pass that to the function. Uh, we're gonna call this function position. And then we need to, once the this hook is not used and component is like unmounted, then we need to remove this listener. So we return this function that does remove event listener and then this is scroll and this one. Finally, we are going to return scroll y. Now we can go back here, import our hook, uh, use scroll value, that's from my And here we're going to call this function. We don't need this anymore. Because we can determine scrolled by if let's say scroll y is more than zero. That means it's scrolled, right? So here we go and time to test. Okay, let me reload the page just in case. Okay, we go back. There's no border, no backdrop, and yep. And that's it for the tutorial. Hope this short video was helpful for you. And if it was, make sure to check out my page and subscribe. I have also a lot of uh, exciting projects coming up that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.